Liver Cancer Definition Liver cancer is a type of cancer that starts in the liver. Cancer starts when cells in the body begin to grow out of control. Irregular, uncontrollable, unnecessary, abnormal. Liver cancer is a condition where the liver ceases functioning properly due to the presence and growth of cancerous cells in the liver. Liver cancer, also known as hepatic cancer and primary hepatic cancer, is cancer that starts in the liver. Cancer which has spread from elsewhere to the liver, known as liver metastasis, is more common than that which starts in the liver. Symptoms of liver cancer may include a lump or pain in the right side below the rib cage, swelling of the abdomen, yellowish skin, easy bruising, weight loss and weakness. Causes Liver cancer happens when liver cells develop changes, mutations, in their DNA. A cell's DNA is the material that provides instructions for every chemical process in body. DNA mutations cause changes in these instructions. One result is that cells may begin to grow out of control and eventually form a tumor, a mass of cancerous cells. Sometimes the cause of liver cancer is known, such as with chronic hepatitis infections. But sometimes liver cancer happens in people with no underlying diseases and it's not clear what causes it. Risk Factors Factors that increase the risk of primary liver cancer include Chronic infection with HBV or HCV Chronic infection with the hepatitis B virus, HBV, or hepatitis C virus, HCV, increases risk of liver cancer. Cirrhosis This progressive and irreversible condition causes scar tissue to form in liver and increases chances of developing liver cancer. Certain inherited liver diseases Liver diseases that can increase the risk of liver cancer include hemochromatosis and Wilson's disease. Diabetes People with this blood sugar disorder have a greater risk of liver cancer than those who don't have diabetes. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease An accumulation of fat in the liver increases the risk of liver cancer. Exposure to aflatoxins Aflatoxins are poisons produced by molds that grow on crops that are stored poorly. Crops, such as grains and nuts, can become contaminated with aflatoxins, which can end up in foods made of these products. Excessive alcohol consumption Consuming more than a moderate amount of alcohol daily over many years can lead to irreversible liver damage and increased risk of liver cancer. Types of liver cancer Liver cancer is cancer that starts in the liver. Some cancers develop outside the liver and spread to the organ. Malignant liver tumors Primary liver cancer A cancer that starts in the liver is called primary liver cancer. There is more than one kind of primary liver cancer. Hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC This is the most common form of liver cancer in adults. Hepatocellular cancers can have different growth patterns. Some begin as a single tumor that grows larger. Only late in the disease does it spread to other parts of the liver. A second type seems to start as many small cancer nodules throughout the liver, not just a single tumor. This is seen most often in people with cirrhosis, chronic liver damage, and is the most common pattern seen. Intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct cancer About 10% to 20% of cancers that start in the liver are intrahepatic cholangiocarcinomas. These cancers start in the cells that line the small bile ducts, tubes that carry bile to the gallbladder, within the liver. Most cholangiocarcinomas, however, actually start in the bile ducts outside the liver. Angiosarcoma and hemangiosarcoma, these are rare cancers that begin in cells lining the blood vessels of the liver. People who have been exposed to vinyl chloride or to thorium dioxide, thorotrast, are more likely to develop these cancers. Some other cases are thought to be caused by exposure to arsenic or radium, or to an inherited condition known as hereditary hemochromatosis. In about half of all cases, no likely cause can be identified. Hepatoblastoma, this is a very rare kind of cancer that develops in children, usually in those younger than 4 years old. The cells of hepatoblastoma are similar to fetal liver cells. About 2 out of 3 children with these tumors are treated successfully with surgery and chemotherapy, although the tumors are harder to treat if they have spread outside the liver. 
secondary liver cancer, metastatic liver cancer. Most of the time when cancer is found in the liver it did not start there but has spread, metastasized, from somewhere else in the body, such as the pancreas, colon, stomach, breast, or lung. These tumors are named and treated based on their primary site, where they started. For example, cancer that started in the lung and spread to the liver is called lung cancer with spread to the liver, not liver cancer. It is also treated as lung cancer. Benign liver tumors. Benign tumors sometimes grow large enough to cause problems, but they do not grow into nearby tissues or spread to distant parts of the body. If they need to be treated, the patient can usually be cured with surgery. Hemangioma, the most common type of benign liver tumor, hemangiomas, start in blood vessels. Most hemangiomas of the liver cause no symptoms and do not need treatment. But some may bleed and need to be removed with surgery. Hepatic adenoma, hepatic adenoma is a benign tumor that starts from hepatocytes, the main type of liver cell. Most cause no symptoms and do not need treatment. But some eventually cause symptoms, such as pain or a lump in the abdomen, stomach area, or blood loss. Because there is a risk that the tumor could rupture, leading to severe blood loss, and a small risk that it could eventually develop into liver cancer, most experts will usually advise surgery to remove the tumor if possible. Focal nodular hyperplasia, focal nodular hyperplasia, FNH, is a tumor-like growth made up of several cell types hepatocytes, bile duct cells, and connective tissue cells. Although FNH tumors are benign, they might cause symptoms. It can be hard to tell them apart from true liver cancers and doctors sometimes remove them when the diagnosis is unclear. Both hepatic adenomas and FNH tumors are more common in women than in men. Pathophysiology Clinical Manifestations The sign and symptoms of liver cancer do not usually become apparent until the disease reaches an advanced stage. Liver cancer may cause the following. Jaundice, where the skin and eyes become yellow. Abdominal pain. Pain close to the right shoulder blade. Unexplained weight loss. An enlarged liver, spleen, or both. Swelling in the abdomen or fluid buildup. Fatigue. Nausea, wanting, back pain, itching, fever, a full feeling after a small meal, swollen veins that are visible under the abdominal skin, as well as bruising and bleeding, high levels of calcium and cholesterol and low blood sugar levels, stages. To help guide treatment and define the outlook of liver cancer, healthcare professionals divide its progression into four stages. Stage 1, the tumor remains in the liver and has not spread to another organ or location. Stage 2, either there are several small tumors that all remain in the liver or one tumor that has reached a blood vessel. Stage 3, there are various large tumors or one tumor that has reached a main, large blood vessel. Stage 4, the cancer has metastasized, meaning it has spread to other parts of the body. Once a doctor has diagnosed and identified the stage of cancer, a person will start to receive treatment. Diagnostic Evaluation History Taking A doctor will start by asking about a person's medical history to rule out any potential risk factors. Physical Examination They will do a physical exam, focusing on abdominal swelling and any yellow in the whites of the eyes. These are both reliable indicators of liver problems. Blood Tests these include tests for blood clotting, levels of other substances in the blood, and proportions of red and white blood cells and platelets. Viral hepatitis tests, the doctor will check for hepatitis B and C. Imaging scans, an MRI or CT scan can provide a clear picture of the size and spread of the cancer. Biopsy, a surgeon removes a small sample of tumor tissue for analysis. The results can reveal whether the tumor is cancerous or non-cancerous. Laparoscopy. This is an outpatient surgical procedure that takes place under general or local anesthetic. A surgeon inserts a long, flexible tube with a camera attached through a cut in the abdomen. 
The camera allows the doctor to see the liver and the surrounding area. Once the doctor has assessed the stage, location, and type of liver cancer, they can decide the likelihood of safely and effectively treating it. Management Treatment for liver cancer varies. It depends on the number, size, and location of the tumors in the liver, how well the liver is functioning, whether cirrhosis is present, whether the tumor has spread to other organs. Liver cancer treatments may include the following. Hepatectomy A hepatectomy is performed to remove either a portion of the liver or all of the liver. This surgery is usually done when the cancer is confined to the liver. Over time, the remaining healthy tissue will regrow and replace the missing part. Liver transplant A liver transplant involves replacing the entire diseased liver with a healthy liver from a suitable donor. A transplant can only be done if the cancer hasn't spread to other organs. Medicines to prevent rejection are given after the transplant. Ablation Ablation involves the use of heat or ethanol injections to destroy the cancer cells. It's performed using local anesthesia. This numbs the area to prevent client from feeling any pain. Ablation can help people who aren't candidates for surgery or a transplant. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is an aggressive form of drug therapy that destroys cancer cells. The medications are injected intravenously, or through a vein. In most cases, chemotherapy can be given as an outpatient treatment. Chemotherapy can be effective in treating liver cancer, but many people experience side effects during treatment, including vomiting, decreased appetite, and chills. Chemotherapy can also increase your risk of infection. Radiation therapy Radiation therapy involves the use of high-energy radiation beams to kill cancer cells. It can be delivered by external beam radiation or by internal radiation. In external beam radiation, the radiation is aimed at the abdomen and chest. Internal radiation involves the use of a catheter to inject tiny radioactive spheres into the hepatic artery. The radiation then destroys the hepatic artery, a blood vessel that supplies blood to the liver. This decreases the amount of blood flowing to the tumor. When the hepatic artery is closed off, the portal vein continues to nourish the liver. Targeted therapy Targeted therapy involves the use of medications that are designed to hit cancer cells where they are vulnerable. They decrease tumor growth and help shut down blood supply to the tumor. Sorfenib, Nuxwa, has been approved as targeted therapy for people with liver cancer. Targeted therapy can be helpful for people who aren't candidates for a hepatectomy or liver transplant. However, targeted therapy can have significant side effects. Embolization and chemoembolization. Embolization and chemoembolization are surgical procedures. They are done to block off the hepatic artery. The doctor will use small sponges or other particles to do this. This reduces the amount of blood flowing to the tumor. In chemoembolization, doctor injects chemotherapy drugs into the hepatic artery before the particles are injected. The blockage created keeps the chemotherapy medications in the liver for a longer period. Nursing management Nursing diagnosis Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements Excess fluid volume Risk for impaired skin integrity Ineffective breathing pattern Risk for injury Risk for acute confusion Disturbed body image Deficient knowledge Nursing interventions Give analgesics as ordered and encourage the patient to identify care measures that promote comfort. Provide patient with a special diet that restricts sodium, fluids, and protein and that prohibits alcohol. To increase venous return and prevent edema, elevate the patient's legs whenever possible. Keep the patient's fever down. Provide meticulous skin care. Turn the patient frequently and keep his skin clean to prevent pressure ulcers. Prepare the patient for surgery, if indicated. Provide comprehensive care and emotional assistance. Monitor the patient for fluid retention and ascites. Monitor respiratory function. Explain the treatments to the patient and his family, including adverse reactions the patient may experience. Complications 
liver cancer can result in a number of complications. They may result from the pressure of a tumor on the bile duct or other organs, hormones produced by the cancer cells, liver dysfunction that results in the buildup of toxins in the body, or other mechanisms. Some potential complications include Anemia Bile duct obstruction Bleeding Portal hypertension High blood calcium, hypercalcemia Hepatorenal syndrome Reversible in these individuals unless liver transplantation is performed. Hepatic encephalopathy. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.